Welcome to The Interest, I'm Christine Stewart. Dave and Luna has industry woes in today's crystal ball. But no worries, we'll wind down with our own Vincent Balvo's poetic moments in mortgage. But first, longtime industry players who remember when Franklin American Mortgage and Guarantee Home Loans were first coming up in the game might recognize the names Brett Arsta and Michael George. But what are they up to now after building those two companies? We had the chance to hear about their plans to take over the TPO space. The gentlemen there are, you know, very visionary. Uh, they're tech minded and they're consumer minded. Power TPO fully launched in October of last year and has been sailing full speed ahead ever since. Its founders say they are guided by two key principles. Since October, you know, we've really opened our doors nationally. Um, and with that, we've added, you know, many accounts and we've really grown, you know, our mousetrap to be a, to be centered around customers and centered around service. In order to best serve its mortgage broker customers, Power TPO curated a top tier team of industry pros with many others downsizing and even closing, the company had its pick. So we bring people that have experience back, dating back to the countrywide days, Loan Depot, um, Home Point. Um, I could just go on and on with all the different companies that are represented under the leadership of, of this company. Power TPO is averaging 95% quarter over quarter growth in submissions, as well as 102% growth in fundings since its launch, the company reports. With that comes, um, you know, my same commitment. It's to people, people, whether they're our customers, people, whether they're our employees, um, and people as in the people we're providing the resources for them to get into home ownership. To learn more about the newest player in the TPO space, read Mortgage Banker Magazine, available now at mortgagebankermag.com. For The Interest, I'm Christine Stewart. My name is uh, Thomas Hall. I went ahead and used uh, the Southwest AI app, and I put in a difficult loan scenario with, with tax returns and everything, and I had somebody else already underwrite it. When it came back, it was, it was almost identical, within like a few dollars, and it took about 30 minutes instead of a whole day or two to, for somebody to analyze that. So, yeah, that AI is going to be the best thing in the whole industry. So stay tuned. We all know that there's a lack of inventory and an even greater lack of affordable inventory. The National Association of Home Builders, Wells Fargo Housing Market Index has shown a drop in home builder sentiment both in August and September. We started the year on a high through July of this year. Then rates spiked higher and more buyer borrowers could not qualify. This is when the index turned down. Any number above 50 indicates more builders view conditions as good rather than poor. This hit its high in July at 56, before turning sharply downward in August to 50, and then in September to 45. Another troubling statistic is that many first-time homebuyers are walking away from their newly completed homes. Some stats are as high as 60,000 first-time homebuyers per month are leaving their earnest money deposits behind. Due to the rather high home prices, higher interest rates, and related housing costs that these new first-time homebuyers will have to pay. According to the St. Louis Fed, the monthly supply of new homes is now 7.3 months. More selection, more choices, but fewer borrowers able or wanting to qualify. This is David Luna for Mortgage Educators and Compliance with your update on the interest. There once was a broker quite clever who helped folks their dreams to endeavor. With mortgages he dealt and fortunes were felt as dollar signs grew forever. He'd find the best rates in town and never let his clients down from morning till night. He'd crunch numbers with might, ensuring their dreams were renowned. He knew all the ins and outs of loans and their financial bouts. 
With a friendly demeanor, he'd make deals even cleaner, and the money would flow without doubts. As a mortgage broker, he'd thrive, which each transaction he'd strive. With a keen eye for gain, his wealth would sustain, and prosperity would ever arrive. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to nationalmortgageprofessional.com.